Welcome back. In this video, we will be taking a look at the basic components of a spray rig. First, let us make sure we are on the same page. When we say spray rig, we are talking about any basic sprayer mounted on a truck or trailer for treating lawns, turf, trees, and more, also known as a skid or tank sprayer. Although there are many different possible variations, all spray rigs generally have the same basic components. These are the tank, skid, pump, engine, regulating control unit, hose reel, hoses, spray gun, spray nozzle, filter, and valves. The tank is a pretty straightforward piece of the puzzle. Obviously, its job is to store the liquid. Most tanks are typically made of polyethylene. For spray rigs, capacity of the tank can range from 50 to 500 gallons depending on the application. When choosing a tank for your skid sprayer, you should consider the center of gravity, the shape, and the location of the tank outlet. The pump is one of the most important aspects of a spray rig. You can use almost any type of pump on a spray rig as long as it is suited for the type of spraying you wish to do. You can use a centrifugal pump for high-volume, low-pressure applications like de-icing, irrigation, and spraying with a boom. Diaphragm pumps are used for higher-pressure applications such as tree spraying. For more detailed information on how to select a sprayer pump, just Google search Sprayer Guru Pump Types. A control unit is a staple on spray rigs. It allows you to control the operating pressure and serves as a pressure relief valve for sprayers that use positive displacement pumps like diaphragm or roller pumps. The control units shown here are commonly used with diaphragm pumps. They allow the user to set their operating pressure and direct flow to the spray gun, boom, agitation jet, or any other accessory that may be on the sprayer. Like the tank, the rest of the components are pretty straightforward when it comes to their purpose. However, there are some key things to know. A strainer is a requirement to protect the pump from debris that can damage the internal components. Just be sure the strainer is sized large enough so it does not restrict fluid to the pump. The hose and hose reel need to be suited for your application. Make sure your hose is rated to handle the pressure from your pump. Also, make sure that your hose is durable so it will hold up to being drug on the ground. Finally, the spray gun and nozzle are the components that the operator will have the most interaction with. The spray gun needs to be equipped to produce the spray pattern and volume you need, as well as be ergonomic and easy to use. For more details on choosing a spray gun or nozzle, visit sprayerguru.com. Spray rigs and skid sprayers have very straightforward plumbing. Let's discuss how all of these components fit together. When plumbing a spray rig, everything starts with the tank. Typically, the tank will have a bulkhead fitting in the bottom. You'll want to install a valve at the tank outlet so that when the sprayer is not in use, the valve can be closed and eliminate any chance of liquid leaking out. The hose that connects the tank to the pump needs to be a reinforced suction hose. A suction hose will typically have a metal or poly coil that keeps it rigid enough to hold up to the vacuum created by the pump. It is vital to remember that the inside diameter of the suction hose needs to be at least the same size as the pump inlet. You can find a lot more detailed information on selecting pumps, nozzles, and building a spray rig on sprayerguru.com. Thanks for watching.